Welcome back to part 2 of this 21 day challenge. Today we are talking about food and my workout routine for these 21 days while I do my makeup. And just keep in mind, I'm not an expert when it comes to makeup. If it turns out patchy, it's not my fault. Just putting it out there. I just thought this is a good idea instead of just me sitting here talking about my food and my workout for 15 minutes straight. Might as well do something productive. So let's get started. Uh, let me quickly do my eyebrows first. It's not so bad, but I see a few here and... Once I start doing my makeup, it doesn't look very good. So I think that's it. When it comes to exercise and workouts, I'd like to focus on two main points. Number one, take it slow. With every exercise, every movement, don't just rush yourself to complete that particular exercise and get your workout done. Don't try to do that workout just because you want to take that to-do list for the day. I really want you to make that muscle and mind connection uh, with every movement and focus on correcting your form. So keep pushing yourself, but don't overexert to a point where the following week you are like, okay, I give up, I quit. Second, I won't be filming every exercise in detail every day for these 21 days. I don't want to focus on making these videos all the time. And once I'm in that zone, I don't like filming at all. Maybe I'll show you guys what time I woke up and what time I'm leaving the house. Maybe I'll film a few exercises just to let you guys know that yes, I am doing this 21 day challenge. But other than that, I don't want you guys to set any false expectations that I will be filming all my exercises and you can do like a follow along with me. No, I'm not an expert. I'm also working on myself, on my body. So you do you if you find a nice tutorial on YouTube or if I find a good tutorial on YouTube, I'll share it with you guys. But what you can follow is my schedule. So this is my weekly workout routine. Day one will be upper body and abs. So when I say upper body and abs, that means I'll spend 40-45 minutes on my upper body and then last 15 minutes or 10 minutes will be focused on ab workouts. My upper body strength is zero. I cannot do pull-ups. I cannot do push-ups. So that's something that I'm really working on. For day two, I work on my legs and my glutes. I don't know why people don't like doing leg workout. I just love the feeling when your legs are shivering by the end of every workout. And I just love Tuesdays. When I joined this gym, I was assigned a trainer. He looked at my uh, statistics, uh, my body fat, my, all my measurements and stuff. He suggested strength training and start with uh, three days a week. And slowly he said, maybe after a month, you can start with four days a week. I'm following his instructions. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to the gym four days a week, not more than that, because I know if I overexert myself, then the following week I'm done. And it's not that I'm going to the gym regularly, but for the next 21 days, it's my goal to not skip a gym day. And don't worry if you skip a day, uh, you know, you are not in the right mindset. I want you to take a break and next day wake up with a new mindset and you know, just show up, show up for yourself. Enough with the motivational speech. Now let's come back to the workout routine. Day three is rest day. Obviously, if I'm working my upper body and my lower body for two days straight, I need a rest day in between. I'm, you know, I'm just too tired to wake up the third day and go to the gym. And rest days are very important to recover your body, to recover your muscles. Day four, uh, will be abs and glutes. Just keep in mind, our primary exercise for day one and day two is actually upper body and legs. I'm not focusing so much on abs and glutes. So day four, I am going to focus on abs and glutes for 40-45 uh, minutes. So throughout the workout, I'll be doing ab exercises and glute exercises. And then on day five, which is the last day of exercise for that week, I like to do a little bit of cardio and some full body uh, strength training. And this full body training is not as intense as day one, two, and four. This is something where I just get my yoga mat, two dumbbells, and do some light exercises for like half an hour. That's it. I realize I'm just applying foundation for like 10 minutes straight. So let's close this. Like I said, I'm taking it slow, trying not to exert myself too much. So day six and seven will be our rest day. I really like spending time with my husband on weekend. So Saturday and Sunday is for my husband rest day. Now that we have finalized our exercise routine, let's talk about food. They say 80% of it is your diet and then 20% is exercise. All these exercises and workouts are useless if you're not focusing on eating good food. And I'm not saying that you restrict yourself and follow some strict diet. No, don't starve yourself, but don't stuff yourself to a point where you 
feel like vomiting. You know what I mean? Maintain the balance. Just avoid junk and over-processed food. You can eat outside maybe once, twice, or if, uh, you know, you have a party or something, a special occasion, you can eat outside three times a month. And if life gets in the way, uh, you are too busy to cook fresh meals every day, you're just like me, then uh, I highly suggest that you do some meal prep, prepare your meals for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on a Sunday. By Thursday, yes, it gets too boring. So on Wednesday, you can take out some time uh, in the evening and cook one meal for both Saturday and Sunday. I'm not too specific when it comes to my meals. I can eat anything and everything, whether it's fresh or not, I don't care. I'm not going to assign myself a schedule for this 21 day challenge. I take it day by day or whatever I feel like making or eating that particular day. But there are a few options uh, for breakfast, lunch and dinner that I will choose from. Uh, for breakfast, uh, my options are smoothie, avocado toast, oats, a besan chilla, a chia pudding or a peanut butter toast. And this first option, which is smoothie, it's really heavy with bananas, berries, almonds, a few nuts, uh, spinach, kale. So it's very, very heavy and it's very fulfilling. It's not that I'm just drinking a smoothie in the morning. It's packed with nutrients and a lot of calories. Chances are I will be drinking this smoothie pretty much every day. I think doing makeup and planning everything was a bad idea because I cannot really focus on one thing. For lunch, we have uh, tofu salad. I'm a big fan of tofu. I just uh, pan roast it. Maybe I'll show you the recipe once I start this challenge. So when I say tofu salad, it's not like tofu salad. It's tofu plus salad. So second option is a tortilla wrap. I might end up making something different uh, than this list, but uh, these are the options that I'm giving myself that are healthy, kind of balanced meals. Because some days I just forget what I have in my pantry and end up eating something junk, which we don't want for these 21 days. We want to build good habits and a very different and healthy lifestyle for 2024. All these options other than the rice bowl are very easy to cook. Uh, they take like 15 minutes, not more than that. I think dinner is the most difficult meal uh, for both of us, my husband and I. We have a very different taste. He is like a dal roti guy and I usually go for something different like quinoa, couscous, black bean chili or some salad something like that. There will be some days where I have to compromise and uh, we will cook something together uh, and I'll have just simple flatbread, roti or maybe rice. But if we have strength to cook two meals at once, uh, then these are my options. Now it's up to you if you want to make a calendar like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, breakfast, lunch and dinner, you can specify everything. But based on my experience, you never end up following that. Maybe on Monday you are too busy, that will mess up your schedule and then you feel demotivated and a lot of stuff. So I don't want to do that. I have these options to choose from. Whatever I will feel like eating that day, based on how much time I have in my hand, I will pick that option, let you guys know and stick with it. That's our food sorted. Right now, I don't think you can tell, but most of these meals are balanced meals. So you have your carbs, fats, and proteins. Mind you, protein is very important for your muscle recovery. So you need to have enough protein in your diet. Let me line my lips. For snacks, my options are dark chocolate. By the way, I love, love, love dark chocolate, especially if it's 85% and above. Sorry. Next option is uh, dates. I usually get that big pack of organic dates uh, from Costco. In case I want to have something sweet, I have that sugar craving, I just, you know, eat one or two dates. Then we have popcorn, very healthy snack. Next, uh, this is my personal choice. I really like eating raspberries. Uh, they are sour. I just, I just like them. Oranges, again, it's my personal favorite. I love oranges. Uh, you can add any other fruit if you want, like apple. Then we have classic combination of carrots and hummus. Next is Greek yogurt. I don't know if you are aware about the brand Siggy's. I really like Siggy's plain uh, Greek yogurt. It's packed with protein. And then uh, last is nuts like almonds, walnuts, 
whatever you want to eat they are all good fats this is the grocery list that i prepared in case you want to take a screenshot you can uh, but it's all up to you your taste what you like what you want to include in your meals what you want to leave one important thing that i want to talk about is what a day in my life will look like once i start this 21 day challenge i'd like to show you a glimpse of my daily planner so you guys have an idea my day usually starts at five in the morning I'm not a morning person, but this is uh, something that I have to do because my husband has to reach his office uh, by 8 a.m. and we only have one car. My gym is really far away. I cannot use public transportation. And this way, it's more convenient. I can start my day early, get my workout done, have breakfast, shower, and things like that are all done by 8 a.m. So 5 a.m. is when my alarm goes off. Yep. By 5.30, I'm out the door. 5.45, I reach the gym. I finish my workout at 7.15. By 7.30, I'm home. After that, I make my smoothie, my husband's smoothie right away. After my husband leaves, I take a shower, a relaxing shower. I usually skip my skincare routine. For these next 21 days, I will follow my skincare routine religiously. So that's what we will do from 8 to 8.30, okay? That's our main goal and then i have breakfast it depends if i'm drinking like a normal smoothie that smoothie is my breakfast but if i only drink like my protein powder in the water then i have a proper breakfast like avocado toast whatever options i showed you next if making a video or a reel is on my schedule for that day i also do my makeup during that time so i'm eating breakfast, doing my makeup at the same time like I'm doing right now, making a video and doing my makeup. And my makeup is usually quick, doesn't take a lot of time. I know you are saying like, you know, she's speaking for like past half an hour, she's still doing her makeup. But trust me, that's because I'm talking right now. I'm not focused on the makeup. So around 11 or 12, we'll have our first snack. But on the planner, I just have written like fruit. So you get the idea. After that, I'll just keep working maybe on the videos or I have some emails to uh, reply to. So I'll just keep doing that. And then uh, at around one, I'll start preparing the lunch. And I'll take my sweet time to enjoy the lunch, watch something on Netflix or HBO. Making videos is a lot of work. So I'll just keep working until my husband is home, which is around four. That's when we start preparing for dinner. We have an early dinner. We are into this habit that we need to finish eating eating at least three hours before we sleep uh, if you're wondering what this grfb is it's like get ready for bed i i don't know uh this is like a made up abbreviation and this includes making my nighty night <laughs> which is uh my uh spearmint tea and one thing that i really want to add to my list during this 21 day challenge is to drink my collagen like that is something that i'm skipping every day for the past two months i don't know why i'm doing that it's as easy as like you know putting your collagen in the water and just stirring it and drinking it it's just a matter of five minutes I don't know why I'm ignoring it, but I have to drink my collagen and take a few multivitamins and sleep. Try and sleep. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So technically, if I follow this planner, I should be in bed by 9 and go to sleep by 10. We'll see if that happens. Now let's talk about our top three priorities. Number one, drink plenty of water. Okay, that's very important. Number two, no sugar. I'm already following that. I don't like eating sugar, but there are some days when I crave sugar. I will eat those organic dates or maybe add just a little bit of sugar in my uh, cold coffee, even though this coffee has no sugar in it. I don't like sugar in anything. I think uh, that's like my only positive. Next is limit time on social media. This is like, ah. Uh, I, I don't know what to say, but I can spend hours and hours on TikTok. And, you know, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. It's 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11, 12, and before you know it, my next day is ruined. I 
you know have no energy to wake up in the morning at five because obviously i got four hours of sleep or three hours of sleep the night before this is something that is like a big distraction for me i think i should have put this like on the top where i say drink plenty water it should say limit time on social media or maybe all three priorities should be limit time on social media on tiktok on instagram on every social media platform but i'll try to put my phone on like a quiet mode maybe i'll try to read a book start reading a book get into that habit again i used to read a lot of books when i was doing my masters and uh, even my post graduation yeah those years i used to read a lot of books and then something happened i guess social media happened on my planner there's a reminder section uh, it says take vitamins and collagen try reading a book oh we have uh, reading a book already i forgot that i already added that okay uh, these are some good reminders next section is daily affirmations this one is my favorite and it's life changing every day you remind yourself that you're good enough and you can do whatever you put your mind to and i've put an example here for you guys uh, this is like one of my favorite quotes and i find it very powerful make way for the unprecedented and watch your reality rearrange itself i mean i get goosebumps whenever i read this so the makeup is done let me put on some jewelry this is like my favorite part of the day getting ready and i just feel good like when you get ready you feel good and by the way this jewelry is uh from my favorite website called hey happiness if you want you can check them out i will leave a link in the description box and you can also use my code to get some discount and this time i got my zodiac sign and i always try to keep my makeup minimal this is what it looks like up close just in case it was not clear from back there now it's time for some closing thoughts do whatever you feel like doing i hope it's not like sleeping and sitting on the couch all day but uh just you know do it for yourself show up every day for yourself not for anybody else go into this challenge with the right mindset don't think that following a workout routine or following this meal plan will make you attractive will make you more beautiful or you'll get abs you'll have bigger butt this is not a glow up challenge this is to build good habits a healthy lifestyle and if you go into this thinking that you will get a beautiful body or you know you'll be more attractive to other people then trust me other people don't give a shit about you and mark my words your older self will thank you for showing up every day for yourself when it's 5 o'clock in the morning there's only one thought going through my head and that is what if i am 50 or 60 years old and i cannot even pick up my own grocery bags what if i need someone to help me i don't want to be ever dependent on somebody else for doing all these basic tasks i think i'm getting emotional but i was so angry at myself for not doing this earlier but then i reminded myself that today will be day 1 it's either day 1 or one day right it's your choice and if that older version of me is dependent on somebody i'd like to die and i'm also very independent in my own life like i do all my tasks myself just forget all the superficial things for these next 21 days focus on yourself that's my two cents now it's up to you your choice what you want to do with your life make it better or make it worse it's up to you all i can do is put this small seed inside of you hope you'll water it it will grow you'll have some beautiful flowers in the end once you start seeing this plant grow everyone around you automatically get attracted to you because you know from inside you're happy and you're growing i don't know if i'm making sense right now but yes that's it for part 2 i'll see you guys uh not in part 3 i'm not making part 3 because i think part 1 and part 2 are enough for the preparation 
Hi guys, it's Saturday morning, December 9th. Uh, I'm on my way to get my laser hair removal done. I shaved my whole face. Uh, she did say to prepare the face and my underarms. So I did that and pardon my voice because I just woke up. I was running late. So let's go. Just got back from the appointment. I look crazy right now, but she told me not to wipe it off. Sorry, I cannot speak properly because it was really intense, especially for my chin area and my upper lips. Underarms were pretty easy. Uh, I didn't feel anything at all. I still have this tingling sensation, uh, especially on my upper lip area. By the end of it, I was just glad that I'm done with it. Overall, the experience was good. My next appointment is six weeks from now. Now I just want to go home. So yes, that's the update regarding my laser hair removal appointment. I'll uh, see you guys soon. Bye.